Okay, we're drawing some system schemas and um, uh, free body diagrams for a bat hitting a ball. Um, so we're going to look at, at when it's actually hit, and then we're going to look at when the ball's away and leaving. So the system schema here, the bat and the ball. Um, they're interacting here with the normal force because they're touching and there's definitely atom squishing going on. The earth is important. There's an MG there. Uh, the bat's interacting with a lot of other stuff actually. There's the earth, so I'm going to call this capital MG because it's a bigger mass. Uh, the bat's interacting with the, the hands of the person with kind of a normal for it and there's a lot of other interactions over here but we're really interested in the ball so we've gotten far enough here so the ball's weight is always down that's the direction the earth pulls it and depending on where you draw this you know I sort of drew it like that the contact was happening kind of at this angle here so if I look that's my surface of contact so it's got to be perpendicular to that so something like that and that's probably pretty big force relative to the MG. It's quite big actually. So we're accelerating not quite parallel to that force because we have the MG here but you know our F net is somewhere along here. Over here we have the bat and the ball and the earth. The bat or the uh, ball and the earth are interacting gravitationally again bat is still interacting with the earth and still interacting with the person give that a different name but it's not interacting with the ball anymore so after that that uh, ball leaves the bat you can't do anything to keep it going you know like following through with the swing there once the once the ball leaves the bat you're kind of done um, doesn't really matter if you follow through or not. It's a, sort of a psychological thing. It can get you to swing harder, but you're not really doing anything. Like if you're, if there was some sort of machine that stopped your bat as soon as it hit the ball, it wouldn't do anything to how far the ball goes. So our ball, yeah, it's moving at you know some sort of angled velocity probably, but the only force on it is the weight force exerted by the Earth. So its acceleration will be down because, you know, it's in free fall. doesn't matter that it's moving sort of in, a, in this sort of parabolic motion. Um, whatever direction it's moving, and once it leaves the bat, it's in free fall.